Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about error handling during file operations. So when we are performing file operations that is file open, file close and next one is uh, reading data from a file or writing data into a file. So performing uh, this type of operations errors may be occur. Okay. Those are known as runtime errors. Okay. So we need to handle the type of errors. That concept is nothing but error handling during file operations. So when we are performing file operations, the errors may be occur. Okay. So while reading or writing a file, we may encounter with an error during the operations. So in C, there are different types of library functions used to check for errors. Okay. So by using these library functions, we can easily rectify the types of errors and we can correct that errors. Okay. So handling errors is known as error handling. Okay. <coughs> Let's see one by one. So here F error. This is the function which is used to handle the errors during the program. I mean file operations. Okay. During the file operations so the first one is f error so the f error function is used to check for any errors in the file okay so it returns zero if no errors have encountered i mean occurred and it returns non-zero value of there is an error okay for example we are performing the file operation so suppose i am reading data from a file okay so while performing the error i mean while performing the operations the error may be occurred okay so by using f error function we can easily rectify whether there is an error or not okay so it will return zero if no error has occurred into the function okay otherwise it returns non-zero values either 1, 2, 3 whatever the non-zero value it will return that means there is an error in the file okay so here the syntax to declare f error function is int f error file star fp file pointer so if there is an error in the file pointer it will return 1 non-zero value okay so we can use this syntax or f error of fp file pointer you can use this syntax also so here the error indication will be last until the file is closed and cleared by using functions okay so by using functions we can easily correct those type of errors the next one is next function is clear error okay so by using this function we use it to clear all the end of file and error indicators so we can easily correct the errors by using clear error so here the syntax is void clear err file file pointer or you can use by using uh, predefined function that is clear error err of fp so this function is used when the error indicators are not automatically cleared so when the errors are not automatically cleared we can easily clear those error indicators by using clear error okay next function p error so here p error stands for print error so this function is used this function is defined under stdio.h standard input output dot header file so this file contains the prr function okay so the prr function is used to handle errors in c program okay so this is by default in the stdio.h header file so the syntax is void p error of char 
message pointer okay so here it takes one argument msg message which is optional and displays user defined message okay so in the place of error it will display the message okay if no error has occurred then no error message will be displayed okay in the place of error we are displaying alternative message that is prr print print error okay so this is the syntax which is used to display the string or information in the place of error message okay clear yes the next one is err number okay err no so if you want to count the number of errors in the file okay while performing the operations in the file so you need to use err number so it will return the constant value present in err dot h header file okay so it will return the number of errors in the file while performing the file operations okay so here the syntax is p r error p error error message okay so p error is used to print the message error message so in the place of error we are printing the message okay so next print ff print f error number percentage d err number okay so first it will display the error message and then error number is equals to 2 so in the file it has two errors okay number of errors are 2 okay so error number is used to count the number of errors present in the file okay so let's see one more time all the files file operations error handling during the file operations so this concept is mainly used to check the run time errors okay those are if you want to perform the operations on the file so in the time errors are occurred okay those types of errors are known as run time errors okay so we need to handle those type of errors so that's why we are using error handling methods to control the errors while for um, while performing the operations file operations so those type of functions are f error so this function is used to check the errors in the file so it will return zero if the errors are not occurred okay so if no errors have occurred in the file it will return zero otherwise it will return one if there is a, if there are any errors in the file it will return one next one is clear error so this method is used to clear all the errors in the file okay next one is p error so in the place of error message it will print the error message okay so in the place of error it will print the error message okay so error is not displayed only error message will be displayed by using p error okay so in the place of so this is the syntax which is used to define the print error okay the next the last one is error number so this function is used to count the number of errors present in the file while performing the file operations okay so by this the class is completed if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you